Hello, friends and family, and welcome to our Sunday, October 11th, boring meditation stuff. I think we're probably done with the dog duty ascetic at this point. Um, I hope no one was too bored <laughs> with a week worth of those videos. Um, my mom had actually asked me uh, about the relationship between meditation and procrastination a while back. Um, and I don't remember if I discussed it in another video or not. Um, I have a few thoughts on it though. Um, one is sort of the question of what is procrastination? And to some extent, procrastination is essentially our inability to remain focused on the task at hand. So we have some particular thing that we're supposed to be doing, whether we've started it or not, and we're getting distracted by something else. And I think that there, there, there's a gradient here, right? There, there are grades of procrastination. <laughs> um, and at one end, we have light uh, procrastination. Sometimes we wouldn't even call it procrastination. That's probably a misnomer. Um, where I like the example of doing the dishes um, because it's a daily chore. We all have to do the dishes. Um, we settle in to do the dishes, and as we're doing them, we're constantly thinking about something else. We're not focused on the dishes. We're not focused on the activity at hand. Our mind is in another time frame. We are worrying about the past or we are um, planning the future. This is where it begins, right? This is sort of, this is mo most immediate because it's really internal. We're not, our behavior hasn't necessarily changed, um, but our behavior may change. And I think that for a person who's um, reasonably self-aware, um, meditation or not, right? you're doing the dishes and you cut yourself with a knife, um, it is almost fundamentally true that that's happened because of a lack of attention on your part. I mean, barring some strange... Uh, external circumstances, you know, somebody shouts boo and <laughs> from behind you. Um, Halloween is coming up, so be careful. Um, and then as we kind of move out, as this internal procrastination, we don't really want to be doing the dishes, so we're thinking about something else. Um, our internal procrastination, I'm going to keep calling it procrastination, even though it's not really procrastination. Um, our internal procrastination becomes something else, right? And the most basic case is we seem to be putting off the activity we're supposed to be doing to the future in favor of another activity. In healthy, quote-unquote, healthy procrastination, that is taking on another job that also sort of needs to get done. It's just not technically the highest priority job. So, oh, let me do this smaller thing first, or let me do this easier thing first, or let me do this work that's slightly more fun first before I do the work I really need to be doing. And sometimes that actually works, right? I've had days where if I sit down and I do something small and easy, I can kind of get a momentum and then I can do the harder stuff. Um, so there's, there's some merit to that kind of procrastination, but it's still fundamentally a sort of procrastination. And then we have the sort of procrastination, which is, well, I'm doing work, but it's really, <laughs> it doesn't need to be done at all, right? Um, and what I'm supposed to be doing is getting pushed off and maybe pushed off further into the future. And then we have a really unhealthy case where we are, and I wouldn't even necessarily consider this procrastination either, right? We're just engaging in sloth, basically. Um, we're watching TV when we're supposed to be working. 
we're having a nap when we're supposed to be working. We're not tired, but we're having a nap anyway. Um, we're taking a break to read the newspaper in, instead of um, going and dealing with those dishes that still need to get done today. <laughs> um, and the uh, question my mom asked was about does meditation help with procrastination? And I think that um, if you go back to that starter case, right, are you focused on the thing that you are doing right now? Which is sort of what meditation is teaching you. I mean, this is the, these are the coarse-grained lessons of meditation, right? The boring, mundane, everyday lessons of meditation. Um, the better you get at that, the less likely you are to be bound up in future things. Oh, I'm part of the reason that we procrastinate on a thing is because that thing scares us um, or the consequences of that thing scare us. Um, it may be small scares, right? But um, I need to edit my resume or CV and then apply for such and such thing. Um, there, there's a lot of potential failure <laughs> Uh, along the way there. Um, and so we may hesitate to do that work. And if we can focus on um, not only the present moment, but the present activity, then we tend to avoid these sorts of traps. Um, but I think that this is actually one of the difficulties that I've had with the modern thinking around meditation is that it's often framed in terms of, oh, you'll be more productive, you'll be able to focus, you'll be able to get more work done, etc. Um, all kind of, all sort of like mundane spheres of happiness, right, that um, are common for people to approach in the workplace and things like that. Um, for a person who is a deep procrastinator, and I might describe myself that way, <laughs> it's not always the case that meditation is going to lift you out of deep procrastination. So some of these tendencies are, are really ingrained and you're kind of, you're chiseling away at them. You're getting better at staying energetic, staying focused, staying driven to complete the project that you've picked up. Um, those sorts of things I've definitely noticed an improvement. But I, I think that um, it, it will be unlikely that people will overcome some really deep difficulty they have with procrastination through meditation. Uh, the, the improvements a person will see tend to be these small improvements, and they tend to be the sorts of improvements that are visible only inside. I know that I'm more focused on things. I know that I'm doing a better job, a more honest job of prioritization. Um, but I don't think everyone around me can necessarily see that. And I'm certainly not perfect at those things, <laughs> thanks to meditation. I'm just, I can see myself, oh, a little better than maybe I was last year or maybe I was five years ago, um, but a little better, <laughs> not, uh, not worlds and worlds better. So I think like anything for people who don't necessarily have a deep problem with procrastination, those small procrastinations that, that tend to hit the highly effective of the population, um, they may be able to get rid of those, right, uh, fairly easily um, through meditation. But it's also important not to make that the goal. So meditate for meditation's sake. Um, try not to get too invested in the kinds of benefits that you will get from meditation partly because the benefits you receive from meditation don't remain constant. So your first two years of meditating 
are not the same two years over and over again. You get the same benefits, you get the same benefits. Um, the, the benefits which are derived from meditation change through the process of meditating for long periods of time. The same way that the benefits of exercise um, change over time as well. I mean, maybe some of the, the really significant benefits you get early on in your um, exercise, your life as a person who engages in physical exercise, um, especially if you've, if you've let your health fall apart and you've gotten overweight or you've, um, you find it difficult to breathe, not because you're diseased or anything, but <laughs> just because um, you've gotten unhealthy. That first year uh, where you return to exercise or you find exercise may be really uplifting, but then from there on out, to some extent, you may be improving, but it, you may be sort of plateau. Um, and similarly with meditation, um, there, there are no sort of miracle cures um, within the scope of meditation. So one shouldn't look for them. Um, I hope that that's helpful. I hope that this, I don't know how long this has been, but I hope this is a shorter video than the last few have been. Um, I hope everyone's taking good care of themselves with meditation, with exercise, with a healthy diet, um, and taking care of everyone around them. The same tools. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Goodbye.